Hi, welcome to Maria's Kitchen. But you notice I'm not Maria. But I'm going to show you guys. Well, this is really for the guys. Um, how to make tortillas. Say if your wife's gone on a retreat or whatever, and you have nobody to make tortillas for you. I'm going to show you an easy, quick, simple way how to make them. All right, guys. Here are the five ingredients that we need to make the tortillas. You need three cups flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon salt, a little over a cup water warm. I usually go maybe a little bit over a cup, but I don't use the whole cup. And here's a twist. Instead of lard, I used vegetable oil, and that's one third cup. So it's as simple as that. So we're going to get started doing this right now. All right, if you notice, I have a KitchenAid here, but traditionally, tortillas with my grandmother, my wife, and in-laws, whatever, they made it by hand. They put all the ingredients together and just went at it. I'm gonna do it with the KitchenAid. It's a lot easier, especially, I'm a guy, so you know we don't wanna mess around with all that other stuff. So here goes the first ingredient. It's gonna be your flour. Next ingredient is your baking powder. It doesn't matter what order you put it in. And your salt. Now, I'm gonna put on this. I'm gonna put it down in there. I'm gonna turn it on and let it mix for a while. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the oil. We'll let that mix for a little bit, get it all the ingredients all mixed in there all right that's about good so now I'm gonna throw in the water slowly and just watch 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 now I'll stop I have a little bit of water left but I want to see how this is doing I might go up a little bit more it's only gonna take me what maybe 10 15 seconds we're done all right, we're all done. And this is what it looks like after you let it go through the kitchen. All and just kind of pat it just a little bit, set it back down and then I'll cover it up and let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then I'll come back and we'll roll some tortillas. All right, here's the masa. Now we're gonna get ready to start rolling them and cooking them. Okay, I've already made one, so I'm gonna start rolling this one out. Get a little bit of flour, toss it, throw it in the flour a little bit. I'm not the best roller, and I don't care how they come out, because as long as they cook on that comal, I'm good. Yeah. So, my wife's not here to do it for me. Who else is gonna do it but myself? So, I might got a little bit. I've come out with a couple of them. They look like the United States or something, <laughs> Texas. I don't know. But I give it a try. And here goes one more flip here. I get them as round as I can. But like I said, they're going to taste, they're going to taste the same. Crooked, straight, round, circle, it don't matter. All right. This is the last tortilla. I'm gonna get it on there and wait for it to cook. All right, this one's almost done. And you notice there's some brown spots. I know there's people are gonna say, oh, they're too cooked, they're over burnt. They're not burnt. They taste just as good with the brown spot or without any brown spots. I don't know if I've ever seen any made, any without a brown spot on them. So there you go done all right since I was a little kid this was my favorite thing either it was beans or butter my mom always had cooked beans and we always had butter or cheese or whatever we would put them on here and I would just load it up load it up and man they were so delicious and they looked just like this brown everything they're so good doesn't matter watch 
Mm, mm, mm. Even guys can make these. I'm a guy. I made them. They're so simple. Go out there and give it a try. Well, I hope you guys like this show. Uh, like I said, this is Maria's kitchen. I'm her husband. I've learned a lot of little recipes that she's made over the years, and I'm starting to do them slowly. I don't have to depend on her, you know, to do them all the time because sometimes she's really busy. And this is one of the easiest tortilla uh, recipes you could do. And next, we'll do the scripture of the day. Prayers for divine safety and protection. I cover myself, my family, and my possessions with the blood of Jesus. Let the fire of God surround and protect my life from all destruction. Let the angel of the Lord encamp around about me and protect me. Let your glory be my covering and protect my back. Psalms 119.17 Hold me up and I will be safe. Lord, you make me dwell in safety. Psalms 4.8 Set me in safety from those who puff at me, Psalms 12.5. Let me dwell in my land safely. Lead me safely and I will not fear. Let the sea overwhelm my enemies. I will dwell in safety. Nothing shall make me afraid. Keep me as the apple of your eye and hide me under the shadow of your wings.